Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited today the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, at his residence in Sakhir Palace. The two sides discussed the bilateral deep rooted relations and ways to bolster them in all fields. His Majesty praised the role of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, in supporting and enhancing the GCC march and defending Arab and Islamic issues. The meeting also included discussions of topics regarding regional and international affairs. They also agreed on commencing a study of King Hamad Causeway project, which will parallel King Fahd Causeway to link Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and will be funded by the private sector. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a ceremony at Rafah Palace in celebration of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud's visit to Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Saudi monarch's accompanying delegation, a number of royals and senior officials were also present. The Prime Minister affirmed that King Salman's visit is an honor to Bahrain. He also thanked the Saudi monarch's support of Bahrain's security and safety. During the ceremony, His Royal Highness confirmed that Bahrain's leadership and his people appreciates and thanks the Saudi monarch for his honorable stances towards Bahrain. He also highlighted the development of the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia due to the support of His Majesty the King and the Saudi monarch. His Royal Highness stressed that the Arab coalition led by Saudi Arabia has strengthened Arab solidarity and hindered outside interferences and conspiracies. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted Saudi's efforts to maintain security and stability of the region and to defend Arab and Islamic causes. His Royal Highness recalled with appreciation the Kingdom's stances against all threats targeting the region and King Salman's initiative and leadership of the Arab coalition, wishing him abundant health and success. His Royal Highness the Premier affirmed the Bahraini people's joy of the Saudi monarch's visit, which reflects the strong ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister held a lunch banquet in honor of King Salman. The Saudi monarch expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for the warm reception. During the ceremony, a poem was recited to welcome the Saudi monarch. A Bahraini arda was also performed.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa bid farewell to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, after concluding his official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, royal family members, ambassadors of both countries, and senior officials. During the visit, the two sides discussed the bilateral deep-rooted historic relations and the cooperation in all fields, in addition to developments on the regional and international levels. Following two days of deliberations, the GCC leaders concluded the 37th GCC summit in Sakhir yesterday. This year's summit witnessed a reaffirmation of the bloc's vision of strengthening cooperation not only amongst themselves, but also with one of their oldest allies, the United Kingdom. Mohammed Shaban reports. The 37th GCC summit came to a close on Wednesday after two days of deliberations between their majesties and highnesses, the leaders of the council. The summit resulted in the launch of the Sakhir Declaration, which highlighted the resolutions and decisions the leaders have arrived at in these tough geopolitical and socio-economic ties for the region. I can say that you know our region really is going through very turbulent times, politically and economically. And uh, the, the, the countries of the GCC countries, uh, the leaders uh, standing side by side and uh, closing the ranks is the most important thing, if you ask me. Because uh, only that way uh, GCC countries can be stronger and more resilient against any threat, be it political or be it uh, economic. On the political and security fronts, the GCC leaders have vowed to continue their strategic defense cooperation and the conduction of joint exercises against any threats. They also called on Iran to stop meddling in the internal affairs of the GCC states and halt its proxy wars elsewhere in the region. The GCC also reiterated its support for legitimacy in Yemen. On the economic side, the leaders called for the push and joint projects in the pipeline, while also calling on unifying the regulations of telecommunication and ICT in the countries of the bloc, while expediting the joint railway network for the benefits it would reflect on the joint economic march of the GCC. The fact remains that it is the only functioning uh, Arab uh, body that uh, residents or citizens can actually travel uh, with just an ID. There is uh, an unprecedented level of cooperation between the GCC countries, despite you know the difference in views on particular uh, points. Um, there is no uh, any other uh, you know political entity or uh, a union that doesn't have issues. We've just seen 
seen what's happening in the European Union. So the fact that there are differences in points of view does not mean that it's not the most efficient and effective uh, Arab body there is. Uh, the GCC Gulf countries have done a number of projects in the area of cooperation. One of the major ones which has been very successful is the GCC electricity network. In other words, all the six countries of the, the GCC are connected uh, for electricity through cables which are extended to all of them. Building on this uh, success, the GCC leaders are now considering a similar network for water. And the water in this case, of course, is uh, a main source of uh, drinking water is from desalination from the Arabian Gulf. Therefore, the GCC have commissioned the study and a strategy has been developed for the sustainability and security of the water. British Prime Minister Theresa May addressed the summit and stressed the UK's unrelenting support for the GCC countries, vowing to further strengthen the long-standing ties between her country and the bloc in the wake of the Brexit, especially in security and defence and the economic arena. This is uh, an event, uh, a GCC event that has been uh, upgraded to a, a full GCC UK summit, uh, where uh, various topics have been discussed uh, between GCC and the UK. I think uh, this relationship has been elevated to a strategic partnership uh, level uh, where uh, GCC and the UK will uh, benefit from various cooperations, whether in defense, in finance, and security, and various other aspects, uh, education, cybersecurity. So a wide variety of topics have been discussed and hopefully we will uh, see the fruits of it in the next coming uh, years. The GCC summit also called on further social integration in youth activities and education curricula that would instill the fruits of cooperation and unity in our youngsters. And so another summit comes to an end. The vision still remains a stronger united bloc with common goals and a shared destiny. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the activities of the Bahrain International Ironman Championship have started. Present was the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Affairs, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The championship will continue until the 10th of December with the participation of world champions and athletes from Bahrain and the GCC. The opening ceremony took place at the Bahrain International Circuit. Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's patronage of the various youth and sports sectors in the kingdom. He affirmed Bahrain's pride in hosting this international event, noting the kingdom's ability to aid the success of such international championships in light of the experience of Bahraini youth and their advanced administrative skills. His Highness noted that Bahrain has become a hub for the triathlon sports in the Middle East as a result of a series of successes on the organizational and competitive levels, stating that the kingdom continues to achieve its aspirations. Sheikh Nasser affirmed that Bahrain is taking an advanced step through launching the championship, hailing the efforts of the organizational committee and aiding its success. Also, a young girls' race was hosted for the first time with the participation of Sheikh Hashima bint Nasser bin Hamad al Khalifa, as well as an iron kids' race with the participation of Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser, Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad al Khalifa, and Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad al Khalifa.
And before we end the news, here's a reminder of our top stories. His Majesty King Hamid and the custodian of the two holding mosques discuss the King Hamid Causeway project. And His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lost the Saudi monarch's visit to the kingdom, noting his honoring stances in support of Bahrain. And that's all from Bahrain's International's News Center. From all the news team and me, Shara Khaled, good night and God bless.